lot of places, but mostly grew up in Long Beach, California. And I'm currently a clinical development for designing drug trials. I'm half Kenyan and half Ukrainian, and I was adopted into a German-Swiss family. Where did you end up going to college? Did you study engineering or did you pursue something else? And so I was working at this, this uh, restaurant called Polly's Pie. And you know, I didn't have anything. I started as a dishwasher. And then my mother was nice enough to um, get me a job at the hospital. And that got me exposed to the healthcare system. I thought about becoming a respiratory therapist, which was, a not, which was a notch up from where I was. So I got a fresh start and I started going back to school. And so I was going to uh, Rio Hondo Community College and I would take one class a semester, then I started taking two, and, and then eventually I figured out a way I could, I could go full time. And I fell in love with school. And so once I started learning about all this biology and stuff, I decided, you know, maybe I should go for psychiatry. I became interested in, maybe I can develop drugs to help people feel better. My fascination is with the brain, right? So I started off thinking about psychiatry and how it affects people's moods and its relationship to how the brain functions. There was, you know, there's chemicals called serotonin that act on different parts of the brain. So you're in med school. How'd you make your way from there to uh, working in neurodegenerative diseases? I started really driving, doing a lot of bench science and looking at translational work. So taking basic and science. Like in the lab, right? Bench right. research in the right. lab. So okay. doing work at the molecular level with, you know, understanding how biology works and being able to translate that into clinical medicine. Through a series of steps, I ended up going to Korea. That opened the doors for me over there and I eventually got into a job with Johnson & Johnson. And I started off doing um, neurosurgical work and now I do neurodegenerative diseases. So neurodegenerative disease like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, mm -hmm. um, ALS, things that help that destroy neurons in the brain and lead to very debilitating debilitating diseases. This is what your brain looks like inside. The brain connects through different wires and these wires are called neurons. And these neurons function from sending signals at the top part and they go out, and they come down. The head of the neuron goes down to the, the connection, the button of the neuron and it connected to each other neurons, to other neurons that have all these connections. When the signals stop coming to the big neuron, that the neuron starts to degenerate it stops feeding information in here, or these can't supply the energy, that these start to die off. And that's called neurodegeneration. And then I got promoted to come back to the US as a, as a chief medical officer of their neurosurgery franchise. Of the 1,200 um, physicians in J&J, &J, I was like one of five. They were black physicians. Oh, wow. Yeah, and the only neurosurgeon in the whole company, 125,000 people. What are you most proud of in your work? Being able to mentor is that reaching back and helping people, that's very rewarding. I want to be thought of as somebody that was uh, contributing, somebody that wanted better things for better people um, and was able to translate some of that in my life.